Continuous scrolling makes the orbiter mouse ideal for zooming and rotating in 3D environments. Let's have a look at how the orbiter works in Google Earth. We are all amazed at the power of Google Earth and the vast volumes of data it gives us access to, so it's great to have more fluid control over navigating it. Spinning the mouse zooms in and out smoothly and continuously. Of course, if we press the top button and drag the mouse, we can navigate around like this. So navigation becomes a seamless and pleasurable experience. Now, if we hold the control key on our keyboard, the action of the mouse changes. So now spinning the mouse rotates the view. If we want to make the orbiter a complete control device for Google Earth, we can even map the dimple button to work as a control key. Here is the advanced tab of the orbiter control panel on Windows. In this section, we can remap the buttons of the orbiter, and down here, we can remap the movement and rotation. Let's just map the dimple button, labelled number 3 here. In the pull-down menu, we can select Keyboard. Then, press the Control key, and you can see it in here. Finally, click Save and Apply. Now back to Google Earth. When I hold the dimple button, it switches from zoom mode to rotate mode like this. Of course, we can zoom in and out of SketchUp models while panning and rotating also. To return the mouse to normal operation, we can use the Load Defaults button. We hope you enjoy the new way of experiencing the world with the Orbiter Mouse.